Benign is one of the most famous contemporary street artists in the world. His art graces the streets in London, Paris, New York, Stockholm and even the walls of the White House. Yet today he's here in Croydon as Inspired Homes provides the blank canvas for his latest piece. Croydon's going through a massive change. Yeah, huge regeneration. Yeah, and you know it's it's you know it's smart that Croydon recognises the value in what we do, mm -hmm. and it's just a little burst of happiness. You know, there's a grey wall, and then a week later, oh my God, there's a colourful word, and it's just like a little burst of happiness. Beautifying a dark space, almost. Yeah, just like adding a little bit of something to somebody's lives and I've been part of like re revitalising Shoreditch, revitalising Tower Hamlets, you know, gentrifying or whatever and I, yeah it's incredibly forward thinking that Croydon recognises the value in what we do. Graffiti is destructive, selfish and anti. You said it so well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, graffiti is like the most destructive thing you can do. Whereas street art is like you know, street art just adds something to the environment, adds something to the community, whereas graffiti just totally takes something away. I like experimenting with different mediums. Uh, like I have a studio where I like fuck around with shit. So I like experimenting with that. But the, yeah, the stuff I do in the street, is like my street art version of painting trains. And it's the same with art because when you go to art school, you know, art school, you know, a, a lot of the things they teach you in art school is what you can't do. And because I didn't go to art school, so you don't I have those boundaries. Yeah, I didn't have those boundaries at all. I was like this cheeky little shit that loved like running away and not getting caught and I had a vague interest in art and graffiti just like ticked every box for me. But then, you know, fast forward 20 years and, you know, at the end of my graffiti career, I didn't want to stop painting, but I didn't want to go to prison for graffiti, so I just kind of changed it slightly, turned it into street art, and now yeah, I get to do this. It. The stuff that I do in the street, I don't sign my name to it. You know, it's obviously me that's done it, but I, I never sign it, and it's more fun. The stuff that I paint in my studio is the stuff that's going to hopefully represent me in a hundred years' time when I'm dead and buried, so... 99.9% .9 of everything I've ever painted has been painted over or cleaned off, so yeah, who cares? And at the end of the day, it's paint. And once it's dry, you just paint over it. It's not the end of the world. <laughs>